Welcome to Ghost Prime Reviews. Now I'm going to take a look at this eHobby set you may not have heard of. This is uh, 2005, I believe this was released. I don't have a box, sadly, for these guys. Uh, a friend of mine hooked me up with these pretty pretty good price. They're fairly on the rare side. This is Garboil and Halback. Now they are part of a, a police force, a Cobalt Sentry unit on Cybertron, which is sort of what their story is. But they are an eHobby set, and they're a recolor of, of course, Ravage and Laserbeak, or Buzzsaw, if you will. Now, they do come with collector cards. Each one of them comes with a card. It's all in Japanese. It has a story on the back, which I have not gone through and translated all of it yet, so I apologize. Uh, but they're just recolors of their their card, their, their, their art that you see on Generation 1. They're really cool. They also come with tape holders, which is pretty rad. Uh, these little things that hold onto them with their cassette form. And, of course, a set of instructions, which is pretty simple. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Garboil first. Now, Garboil is actually modeled after a, a Dia clone, even uh, right straight to the color of the sticker on the bottom. Um, it is just really cool. Of course, you get the, the weapons that come with laser beak. We'll take those off real quick. You can see it's black on the top. He transforms exactly the same. Let's go ahead and put that in there to be gentle with it. You don't see these too often. Open the wings. And then that. And you have the tape, the cassette. So you may notice this little thing in the middle. Now, these are eHobby. Uh, let's see if I can close up. Now, eHobby uh, did this a lot. And what it's for is when you put it in Sound Blaster, it changes. So I have, happen to have one of these here. I don't have a Sound Blaster, unfortunately. And so you can kind of see the differences there. It looks like a schematic of Fortress, uh, Fortress Maximus. So this thing is, is pretty neat. Uh, the same thing goes for uh, Hal back here. He has the same weapons as Ravage, just done in a nice cobalt blue. And as you see, this is actually paint. And he has a schematic as well. Looks like the same one. See? Up, oh, it is a little different. It goes on the bottom instead of the top. That's kind of cool. So, just a real quick comparison. There he is with the vintage toy. Get him on this side so you can see the the artwork. Both both uh they has the 60 and the A at the Japan. It's the same with the exception of the, the little tape right there. So that's very cool. Also retains the metal part on the legs. Although he has a chrome eye, well he does not. And the launchers are essentially essentially the same. Uh smooth more smooth around here. Like, uh, so the reissues, where that has the bumps. There are differences in all of these. And Ravage is no exception to a ton of differences. It's uh, not even going to get into that right now. That's a rabbit hole to keep. And here's Garboil. Focus. Next to a vintage laser beak. Get an idea of how those two look. Together, you got the little differences in the stickering. Right there, but the same overall pattern. And on the underside, you see it's orange sticker, and this is green. I really do like that they kept this with a sticker and uh, Ravage or uh, Howback with paint and made it really cool. And here's the heads. Again, with the chrome for the eye, it does not have chrome, just uh, gold paint right there. At least I think it's just gold paint. Looks like it. But otherwise, they're exactly the same. But these are, this is just a very cool little set to add to your tape collection. If you guys like cassettes and odd colored cassettes, there's been a few. I'm still collecting them. They get rather expensive, these little guys. But pretty neat. Anyway, I appreciate you uh, stopping by and taking a look at these with me. These are some of those, my little favorite guys. And I, I love them. And uh, hopefully I can uh, give you appreciation for them as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you later.